All right, lads, we're here to speak about something very serious, though. Mm-hmm. What's been happening? A lot has been happening. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Do you get it? Do you get it? Okay, no. There's a situation right now yes. between Paige KQ and Lady Leisha. Now, these two, background story, these two were best friends for a, a good amount of time. Now, Leisha released a track called On The Road, which has subliminals to Paigey, supposedly. No proof yet. Paigey has gone by Twitter. She's basically had enough of Lady Leisha indirecting her. And she's come out and said, look, we weren't just best friends. We were lovers, as in lesbians. Okay, she's also said that um, Leisha ate the cake. And she's made her own diss track as well. <laughs> 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 this, is, this, is what this is what we're currently sitting yeah. at this moment in time. So. Okay. First things first. The Delisha, she she makes trash music. That's oh. my opinion. <laughs> you know, so let's just get that out of the way. Oh man. Delisha, this is something everyone knows. The Delisha, she's not a, she's not a whack artist because she actually she, she's she's a good um she's, she has very good lyrical ability. She, I've seen her old stuff from back in the day of you know doing the grind. But based on the issue that's been re- putting out music recently, she's putting out really trash music. Her music is targeted for 12 year olds. I agree. You know, her music only appeals to kids with heelies. Oh. You know, <laughs> that's not a fact. Heelies. Now, oh, the situation, you know, we have to, because it's very deep, because mm. I, I saw it as well on my timeline. There's pictures flying around of, you know, screenshots of conversations and evidence of, you know, Pecheki is saying that they were in a relationship together and they were going out or whatever. It was really big, it was really obvious, but let's not, you know, they were really close. Have you guys, what's, what's your opinion on it, Daka? Um, I think the whole situation is very silly because they're both just exposing themselves. Like, it's something that the world didn't need to know and they could have kept it to themselves and it could have passed. They deletion could no, have went her direction. Delicia exposed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. By doing that track, yeah. But I think it's um childish. Pa- it's very childish. I think Paige Cake should just been quiet. Because now she's making herself look silly. No, I don't think she's making herself look silly because people have taken shots at Paige Cake before. Mm. Now yeah. they rose now they rose took shots at Paige Cake. Yeah. She 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 ignored it. The delicious also took shots at Paige Cake. Like she does it all the time mm. through our previous songs. This is the first time Paige Cake is clapping back at someone. So I respect Paige Vicky for that. She's she's this is someone I actually know in person, so she's cool. Yeah. She has a very cool personality. Yeah. She's she's not the kind of person to be, you know, beefing, beating yeah, up yeah, or yeah, beefing yeah. and stuff like that. A delicious on the other hand is a grown up grown ass woman. She's she's a, she's a grown ass woman. Mm. Let's get out of the way. Let's get out of the way. Now, if there's any element of truth to anything Paige Vicky is saying about their relationship, that is a very big worry, in my opinion. Because <laughs> Apparently, the Delisha is 30 years old. This is what Paige Kiki said. You saw the yeah, tweet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a big woman. Isn't How old is Paige Kiki? Small girl. She's about 23? 23, 23, 24. Yeah, okay, she's not yeah, that yeah. young. But when they started, my question is, yeah. when were they in a relationship? It could have been four yeah. years ago. She was no, 20. No, no, it wasn't four years ago. Because if you look at their music, when they were making music together, this was five years ago. Yeah. How old was Paige Kiki five years ago? 19, supposedly. 18. Let's do the maths. Okay, but isn't the age of consent 16? 17, yeah, yeah. Isn't it 16? 16. The age of consent. So if you are a mother and you have a 16 year old daughter or 17 year old daughter, you know your daughter is going out to someone that's 25 years old. It happens. Look at, look at right. African like, okay, households. Okay, well then, so now, in that case. You think then, so? Are you, what are you trying to imply, Uncle Rufi? Are you trying to imply that um, Lady Leisha was molesting? Or being a pedophile. Have you seen, seen Pedrickie's tweets? Have you seen Pedrickie's tweets? She said that the relationship was a toxic, toxic. relationship. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now. But Jackie is talking as if she's she's basically talking as a victim of someone of this oh. is a, this is a relationship that was not safe for me to be in. Yeah, that's the way she's talking. So okay. I think we should need to pay more attention to what Jackie exactly saying. But okay. that's, that's my opinion. But wait, right. a toxic relationship doesn't need to. It can be anything to be toxic. If, if I didn't like a relationship, if it if I didn't you know, if it didn't end well, that could have been toxic. You sure is a pedo. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's my own opinion no. wow okay i think i think that's i think that's a bit strong i i think personally i don't think Paige should have necessarily responded i i think it's nice that she spoke out but 
right now I feel like she's gaining a lot of love. You know, she's recently come out with a alopecia that she's mm, suffering from. Yeah. And I really think that people are taking to her more and supporting her more through that whole hair journey. So I don't think she needs to come out with a beef now. This is not the best time for her career. I think she should have maybe I think maybe yeah, say one, two, two things on Twitter, but the this track I don't think is necessary. Have you seen have you seen Nisha's tweets no. after um Amen has paid Katie. No. Nisha Nisha was tweeting someone who was making fun of a girl by Lucia. So Nisha Nisha in that um retweeted that person's tweets. Um the tweet said something like, Oh, um I was I saw a girl who shaved all her hair off and um I found it so funny, she looked like a more teaser and then they initially retweeted that tweet and said this is the most funniest thing ever. Now that tweet she retweeted, she retweeted that tweet when she was arguing with Paige. So okay, now, that's, she, that's a bit pathetic. Yeah, that's a subliminal. That's a that's, straight that's, that's, that's straight very, no, subliminal. That's, that's something you expect yeah. from someone that's Paige Katie's age, not the initial age. But mm. that's not how that Paige is that years young. old woman. Not so Paige isn't that young though. Yeah. The delicious. I'm talking about the delicious. She, this is, she's old enough to be someone's mom. But so uh, is but so is Paige Cakey. Yeah, Cakey's twenty three. Are you telling me people are oh, moms are twenty three? Ma- okay, what I'm saying to you is while they were going out, Paige was eighteen years old. She was a young girl going out with a big ass twenty five year old man that should be married. Man, woman, woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big, woman. yeah, big big ass twenty five year old woman that should yeah, be married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, that alone, Lisha is in the wrong. I don't give a flying fuck what happened. With the relationship, I don't care who's in the right or wrong. You are a big ass man going out, a, going out with a little kid. So what the flip do you expect? And, and then you want to go and make music video and be rapping. Oh, my best friend hacked me. My best. Yo, that's that's bull crap to me. That's you're, you're in a relationship with a little kid, and I don't care if. Okay, fair enough. It's legal because you're over the age of yeah. whatever. But if you are a parent and you know your daughter, your daughter is going out with a with big ass grown woman in a toxic maybe relationship, a pa- maybe pa- parents don't happy? know. Maybe mm. parents don't know. Kids do she things did, all the time. Yeah, Paige parents, said that. Paige said that she was living in the house. And exactly. Paige said that. So then we've got Lisha's Lisha's questions to her, to her, to her parents then, because maybe, because clearly it could have been that toxic if her parents were like, that's what I'm saying. Something's not completely right. I don't think we don't know everything that's happening okay, in this whole you know story. What? You know what? I don't want to sound. I don't want to sound very very biased because I think a lot of my people, my followers, know that. Um, I don't like Lady Disha. I express it in every way or shape or form. I don't like Lady Disha. I have something against that. <laughs> okay. Now, now I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to sound like, like a hater or whatever. But me and Lady Disha actually, we, at some point, we were actually cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. But the kind of person anyone that knows Lady Disha would know that Lady Disha is not a loyal friend or a loyal person in general at all. She's not loyal. She's 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 a very weird human being. She's she's quite weird. The reason why I'm saying this is because there's okay, I don't want to expose personal stuff, but you know, she's everyone can testify to that. She and on another issue is quite you know, she's a very odd human being. Paige on the other hand is very down to earth, very humble and very easygoing and she's very friendly. She has a good heart. Anyone that knows Paige knows that she has a good heart. So from my own experience with the both of them, I can already do the maths myself and know that the Delisha is manipulative. Sh- one, manipulative, mm-hmm. she's in the wrong and no doubt the Delisha is a probably better artist than Peggy Keki whatsoever. I don't care I don't care about that part, but <laughs> you just added the story <laughs> that everyone asked. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. That. <laughs> that part is not important to me. Like to me, I still think she's she makes trash. She's been making trash music for a while now. She she wants to appeal to twelve year olds. That's down to her. I respect Paige Keki's hustle because she's very very independent. Yeah. I've seen mm. her grind. I've seen her hustle. She does everything herself. At some point, she was even managing herself. She was the one yeah. doing all her yeah. booking by herself. That girl's a hustler. Yeah, and I don't yeah, give a flip if no one cares. No one likes her music or people. Not everyone's a fan of her music. Who gives a flip? Like the girl is hustling, she's making her peace and she's staying true to herself. She's not having to sell out to get views. She's not making songs about oh brush your teeth, brush your she's not she's not selling out to, to get views. She's staying true to who she, she is. is. The page that, that the page the kicky that is that you see today, the same page that has been yeah. always putting her music from day one. She's not changed for nobody, she does her own thing, she stays in her own lane. Lisha, on the other hand, went from grand, went from this, now she's thinking about brushing your teeth. Okay, well, hold on. What do you think things. about this new track? Now she's getting millions of views, now she thinks she's the shit, she cannot mix oh, wow. to anything she wants. She's a grown ass woman, 30 yeah. years old, she's, she should be married, she's almost 40. She's <laughs> what? She's you just grown, added 10 years, years to her life. I'm just saying, she's but, a grown ass woman. No, no, but what you're saying. What grown ass woman would be beefing a 23 year old girl on Twitter? What grown ass woman would be doing that? Obviously, what grown ass woman would be doing that? What I can see from the situation. You suck. 
we, we only know from the surface. We don't know we wasn't in the relationship or we don't know the ins and outs. So but from what I understand of the situation and what I personally know, there's loads of technicalities involved in that such particular as, situation, isn't it? Like obviously they were together, they were in a relationship or whatnot. They they lived together for a um a long time or whatever while they were in a relationship as well. So um obviously whatever happened. As she she touched on it. She tried to stab her. They had the domestics, as they say. Tried to stab her. Um, what? Um, did, did you hear? She said that. Um, she didn't say I tried to stab her. Where is everyone getting stabbed from? I didn't hear stab. There's there was no there was no stab. There was no. She she said uh, my best friend um tried hack to stab me. My best friend hack me. I mean, she was from Hack Me. Okay, Hack Me. Was it Wait. Hack Me or Stab Me? Wait, no, breaking stab news. Me. Breaking no, what, news. What, what, did, what did it say? If you're unaware, Paige resides in Hackney and Leisha is indirectly sending shots. My best friend tried to stab me. Yeah. My best friend hacked me mm. fingers because she was from Hack Me. So violent. So yes. Leisha is saying that it. Paige tried to stab her. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. That's so how about that side of being yeah, toxic? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you didn't know about that one, Rafu. So what are your thoughts now? Yeah. My thoughts still hasn't changed. Even though Paige <laughs> could have been domestically because, abusing Leisha. The reason why my, yeah. my, my point hasn't changed is because of the fact that you're okay, the fact still remains that you're you are you are you are, you are screwing with someone that is very, very um let's okay, let's let's take things back now mm-hmm. to when they were actually when Paige was actually that age. Eighteen years old, back then in those days, any I'm, I don't. We don't know how intense the relationship must have been. They must, maybe they must have got to a fight or whatever. But the Lisha, she's from what I know of her, she's someone who will add salt and pepper to the story. She's someone who is an exaggerator. I don't like. She's 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 very very. Um, what's the word? What's that word when someone is very very untrustworthy? Unreliable. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> so a unreliable. pathological liar. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, something like that. She's, she's, <laughs> she's, she's, a, she's not a trustworthy person. So, based on what I know of her, I don't really. I, I, I'm still gonna say I don't give a flip if it's Kiki put that brought the gun and try to shoot the leash. I still don't give a flip. My fact is to remain that you are a 25 year old, my 25 plus, gonna have an 18 year old girl. With that alone, I do not give a flip what the 18 year old girl has done. I don't care how many mistakes she has made. Any she's 18 year old girl, any teenager makes a mistake. I don't care about any of that side of the story. My point is, you are a big ass woman. What in hell are you doing with a little kid? She's like, that, that sh- it feels like something like it should be illegal. Because. But then you're saying there's so many, so many um, things should be illegal. Because think about how many men, think about how many people, I know in the African culture, where their age gaps are 10 years, 15 <laughs> years, 20 years. Let's not lie. Is it not true? In the African mm-hmm. culture, that's how... Hey, come on. The age differences are serious. I just think it's a, I just, I just think it was a very, very toxic, abusive relationship. <laughs> you think so? That, that's, yeah. that's what I believe. That's, that's what it looks like. Because, but, yeah, we we because, got some good music out of it. While, while they were um, eating each other's crutches, they were making great oh music, God. you know? Eating each other's crutches. Yeah. That's, that's what that's, sort of, yeah, that's, that's what they were doing, didn't it? That's what they were doing. Get into that because yeah. I remember there was an interview. There was an interview on YouTube, yeah. There was something on YouTube where they went to the room, and the bed was there, and the studio, the microphone was right next to the bed, did it? <laughs> the microphone. So I guess Maybe they eat the crutches and they get inspiration to jump on the mic, did it? You actually, know what was there to I make don't know, I don't wild know. freestyles, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know what this guy talking about. <laughs> that's actually but, foul. But that, that, that's, actually that's, foul. That's, that's something that was possible. Right, Maybe that's the inspiration, did it? Maybe maybe the, this argument stands because she can't get it no more, in it? You know what I'm saying? So the frustration that they can't enjoy the cake no more, in it? Okay, right. Like, you know, I don't know. Don't even disturbing though. A big ass woman is going down on a little kid. Okay, let's let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's get past the age thing, okay. okay? Do you guys think they can be a reconciliation? No, We've never, chip- never, We've never. Seen never. No, 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 never, never, never. Because it's this situation is matters of the heart. You know, the ones their hearts have been broken. I don't think... I think Weapons have I, been drawn. If I'm honest with you, I think about so, 90% of the audience don't give two flying fucks about their bars or their music. They like the entertainment. Think, they I like think, the entertainment. I think everyone's just entertained by the whole situation. Yeah. But in terms of musical ability, let's be honest. Now, if it comes down to a clash or head-to-head thing, the Delisha has more lyrical ability than Paige Kiki. With that being said, if I had to buy one of their albums, I'll buy Paige Kiki's album. I don't want to you don't like Delisha? I'm saying Lisha is not a shit artist. Yeah. But she's been making shit songs lately. 
the leisure that I used to listen to from back in the day of the real gram. She has good lyrical rap. She can spit. Everyone knows Lisha, Lisha actually has bars. She can rap. But lately, she's been putting out trash music. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so I, my fact still remains that she has more lyrical ability than Pejigeki. Yes, fair enough. But I enjoy Peji's music better than Lisha's music. I boy. It gets very technical. I think those who are into music will understand what I'm talking about. But um yes. Anything else about Peggy Kiki or I Lisa? think um when it comes to the artist the artistry, Lady Leisha is more versatile in her music, in her musical 100%. ability. Like I've heard her uh, I've known Lady Leisha since she was like um fifteen, sixteen in Birmingham. She can she can dance. She can sing, she can rap, she really? can produce a little bit as well. Yeah. Lady Leisha, yeah. Oh, okay. So her, her musical ability is much more wider. She's a weird girl. She you know she yeah. blocked she blocked me on every social media. She blocked <laughs> yeah, me yeah. on Twitter. She blocked me well, on course. Snapchat. Of course. Only because of the fact that I was doing a Q and A, and then someone asked me for my opinion on her music. I, I didn't diss her music, but I said that her music doesn't appeal to me. It mm. appeals to the younger generation. She yeah. took it to offense and then blocked me on every social media and started trying to cuss me or whatever. Like, that's a 30 year old woman. No? She, maybe that's, she, that's, maybe she's not feeling what you're saying, isn't it? Like, that's she that's happens, crazy. you know. But That's someone's auntie. Why do you keep finding out age? But why do you keep finding out age? Like, there ain't rappers out there that are I, way older than her. What's that got to do with anything? What's that age got to do with anything? Because it, it makes you look at that differently. That's why she's hiding it. Okay, so when I'm hearing things about, you know... If you're a female rapper, and, you, and if you're a female... Okay, if you're a female rapper... Yeah, this is my opinion, by the way, so I'm, I'm just saying this. This is my opinion. Now, if you're a female rapper, I believe if you've gone past the age of 30, the way you should rap is not dancing around the street saying brush your teeth. That's, that, that's, that's just my But opinion. she never made that track when she was 30. Yeah. So when she made that track, she wasn't 30. So you don't even know how the fuck how old she is. She's been <laughs> Do you know how old she is? But Emily Sande in the age she says she is. Emily, it doesn't matter. Emily Sande makes music for the right age group. Lady Lisha, look at Remy Ma. All these people, Nicki Minaj, I don't care how old they are because their music, no matter what they do. Um, Nicki can be quite childish on her music. Nicki's mm. like 32, mm. if you didn't know. Yeah. Okay, but now, now that, that's, that's where... That's where record label comes into that that one's very technical exactly so why 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 isn't record label the reason why lady leisha's making yeah because lady leisha is signed she is signed exactly. she got a big a big advance i know she got a big advance. i hold it down like a snapchat oh. <laughs> that's, that's her accent man i'm just yeah. walking around the streets it was, cool. it was innovative it was innovative, it was innovative. And like, and most of one's mom saying you're from alam you're from alam and all that i ate and let's be real yeah that that um, Queen's speech, all that, has taken her all around the world. She's Listen, I was in New York. Listen, I'm, I not was saying, in New York I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying that she's not succeeding. She's doing quite well. I'm proud that mm. she's succeeding and stuff. But me personally, I just don't read a oh, big ass woman singing about. You know, maybe she she takes it up a bit and changes. Then I'll I'll, I'll support. I always support anyway. I I, I was supporting her. She, I I went to one of her videos to support. This was time when me and her were cool, you know. But then she said this randomly. Blocking me and living so weird with me. I was thinking, what, what's wrong with this girl? I need to block her too. Block her there. I did, I did. I don't care about <laughs> it. 